It's that time again, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get right down to brass tacks, and we're going to cut through the BS that's out there on the internet right now. I'm not here to get clicks. I'm not doing clickbait. We're going to give you an honest review of this thing right here. What you're looking at above me, this is the Burgonia. It's the new legendary tier battleship. As always with the Honest Review series, we're going to cut through everything, and you're going to get my honest opinion with this thing. We're going to break it down from head to toe, and we're going to go from there, and you're going to see some gameplay, and we're going to talk about some other things, some challenges I think this boat's really going to have. All right, so just breaking this boat down, I'm running aiming systems, I'm running propulsion, I'm running concealment, and then I think this is reload. This is reload. Hurts the turret traverse, but reload. I do have Robert on here as the commander. Fully specced into accuracy. It's French. It needs it. Sharnhorst, Cunningham, going from there. Now, Prince Blip was saying this is basically a John Bart with an extra gun. I missed out on John Bart because I didn't have 10 doubloons. Thought I'd buy it the next morning. Didn't know much about the game. Well, I didn't get the JB. That was the Monday morning an update came. And honestly, after playing this, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. But I digress. If that's the case, if this is a JB with a back gun, then what's it doing at legendary tier? Take this with a grain of salt, this is my opinion, but I don't understand why this thing is at legendary tier when JB and Richelieu basically the same thing, maybe maybe slightly different, premium, whatever, but they're at tier 7. This thing has 15-inch guns. 15-inch guns. That's like tier 6, tier 7 caliber shell at the super high tiers, at the highest tier we have in the game. Now, they gave it one gimmick and they made it the fastest by, I think, three or four knots. It's the fastest, sure, but we are have such we have such small maps and bad concealment, and not great firing range compared to PC. It's like, how are you really going to advantage, how are you going to leverage that four or five extra knots on your boat to really put the boat in position to do something when you're going to be spotted pretty much the whole time? That's a question only you can answer, because I can't. They also gave this thing a main battery reload booster, but I'm just going to be real honest with the French inaccuracy. I haven't really been able to juice up a whole lot of good stuff from the main battery reload booster. Sure, you can fire HE, pop a damage con, reload booster, try and get another permanent fire. My first game in it, I did that three times and three separate times. Guess what? Couldn't light a permanent fire. Very disappointing. You could probably use it when you catch somebody broadside, but even when you pop the main battery reload booster, you still have, you know, I think it's six or seven or eight seconds till you get reloaded. By the time, if you take half of somebody's health, more than likely they're going to turn by the time you reload and relob. Uh, you're probably not going to have the same look. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying that's the reality. That's what this entire video is about. It's the reality of this ship in the state of legends today. Breaking down the actual numbers of this boat, it's got a pretty low hit point pool, 74k. Um, the armor on this vessel is wrapped in 32mm, so Yamato's going to overmatch, and it's going to touch you every single time Yamato fires at you. They will pin you, and they will hurt you. To counteract that, they did give you a ton of range. They gave you a 20 kilometer range. They gave you a 24.6 second reload on my current build I have here. So not crazy in terms of reload speed. Pretty decent range, but this is legendary tier and a lot of things can fire pretty far. They did give a good AA, thinking maybe somebody would be away from the pack with this boat and you might get singled out by the carrier, so they did give it some pretty good AA. But the simple fact is, after you get hit with HE a couple of times, three, four, five salvos of HE, your AA defense is going to fall quite a bit. Maneuverability, like we talked about, it is one of the fastest boats in the game, but it's only fast by, you know, four or five knots with the speed boost on, so just keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to make some crazy flank around the outside and nobody know about it. Its concealment's pretty mundane. It's 13.7. It's, it's not great. It's not terrible. It's just kind of right there on the number. Armor overall, like I said, it's not very impressive. It's wrapped in 32 millimeters of armor, so overmatch capability is absolutely there, and and you can absolutely get smacked pretty hard by Yamato or Musashi. Now I think it's time we load this boat up and we actually give you some examples of the gameplay, what I'm talking about, the challenges, and the good things about this boat. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, that's better. Okay, so we're going to have Yamato, 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 Yamato. And also Shima, Shima, Shima. Lots of variety at the high tiers. As you can see, we're going to load AP off the rip, even though I don't really know that there's a reason to load AP. This boat needs to kind of be played at range. 
And, uh... At range, your tiny little 15-inch guns are really not going to do anything to Yamato, especially in bow tanking. But even if you catch him broadside, this thing just doesn't quite have the penetration required to stick Yamato in the Citadel at range. It just doesn't. Gonna find out. Pretty French dispersion. Yeah, there you go. Two overpins and three shatters. And I believe that's shatter on the torpedo belt. Doesn't have enough. 15, 15 kilometers might, maybe. I think, I think it adds enough at 14. There we go, so 15-4, it had enough. Well, technically, I think it was about, about 15 even, uh, where he was when I finally was able to land the shells, but, so, there you go. AP past like 15, 15 and a half, you're just not gonna have enough penetration to actually stick a Yamato where it needs to be hit. Yeah, it is what it is. That's what happens when you put tier six, tier seven guns up at this tier. This guy just lost a lot of HP. And he's flooding. How about that? Got HE loaded, okay. My dispersion's all over the map, but a lot of them stuck, so we'll take it. I'm going to do something that might be slightly questionable. I can pin that. Be accurate, please. There's a couple drifting in. Can't pin that. Did you see that? They hit right there. and He's got a favorable angle. Well, that's bad. I knew it was questionable. What are we up against before we do anything crazy? Load AP. Repub, repub, yama, yama. Okay. This isn't crazy, but we're going to try to avoid those Yamatos at all costs because Yamatos love to shoot this thing because they know it's free damage. You don't hardly ever bounce a Yamato shell. This thing absorbs Yamato AP. Let's set up the crossfire, run for the outside, see what happens. Cool, cool. Very neat. We got the cab out here. And we got a Yamato. Very neat. Please. Oh. This thing is just so inaccurate. Yamato shot at us. Bring pain, baby. Fuck yeah, dude. That's unreal. That's just unreal, dude. He knocks one of my guns. And Yamato finishes me here. <laughs> Holy. Oh, wow. We get a Citadel finally. We're still spotted. We're on fire. Double fired. Checks out. Just gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh, if you like not hitting your target, if you like being slammed by the number one most played legendary battleship, if you like being really frustrated and you enjoy not having fun, pick up the Borgonia today. Start your bureau project in six to nine months. You too can experience how much fun it is to play this thing right here. If you do, you'll you'll see this a lot. No ship import. Have fun with your own Borgonia, guys. I'm not playing it one more time. That's it for me. Peace!